Last week on Boxing Day, when the rest of you were out shopping, I wrote a column about the carbon tax. Now, I knew it was going to make people angry. I wasn't surprised when I got angry emails and tweets. What shocked me, though, was the degree of racist venom that I saw on social media feeds and in my inboxes because of a misunderstanding where people seem to be possessed of the idea that First Nations people in this province won't be paying the carbon tax. A lot of people said to me, that's not fair. How come they don't have to pay and I do? So let me explain this to people who may be misunderstanding how this works. If you're a First Nations person, if you're Métis, if you're Inuit, and you live in the city, if you live in Edmonton, you pay the carbon tax. I pay the carbon tax, they pay the carbon tax, we pay the carbon tax. It unites us all, whether we love it or hate it. If we live in cities, we all pay an extra carbon tax on the natural gas we use to heat our homes. There is no racial differentiation. That is a myth. That is a noxious lie. What's the basis of this lie? It's a misunderstanding about how taxation works on reserve. Now, it is true that under federal law, the province has no power to tax the sale of fuel or tobacco on reserve. So if you live on reserve and you buy your gasoline on reserve, it is true that if you show proper identification, you won't pay the carbon tax at the pump. And it is true that banned offices won't pay carbon tax on fuel they use to clear the snow from their parking lots or the fuel they use to heat the banned office. But private businesses, for-profit businesses on reserve, will indeed have to pay the carbon tax. And anyone, regardless of their banned status, who lives off reserve will pay the carbon tax. And if you live on reserve and you drive into the city and you need to fuel up, you'll pay the carbon tax then too. Is that a great policy, a transparent policy? Not really. I'll admit it doesn't exactly seem fair to me that if you live on reserve, you don't pay. But if you're status Indian and you live off reserve, you do. If you live in a Métis settlement, you do. But these are things that are out of the control of Rachel Notley and the NDP government. This is based on the law, Section 87 of the Federal Indian Act. So whatever the Notley government had wanted to do, they did not have it in their power to change federal law they don't have control over taxation policy on reserve. Now, I understand a lot of people are angry about the carbon tax. If you want to be angry about the carbon tax for other public policy reasons, that's cool. Fill your boots. But please, can we not make this about racism? Can we not make this about race baiting? Can we not make this about using the carbon tax as an excuse to beat up on First Nations Albertans? Because whatever your politics and whatever you think about the carbon tax, to use it as an excuse for racism is disgusting.